Today, I have the distinct pleasure of speaking with Justin Cochran from Carbon Streaming. How are you today, Justin? Very good, Tracy. Thanks for having me on. Justin, I am absolutely enamored with what you're trying to do. You are really taking carbon credits to the next level and you're putting them on our public market so people like myself can have exposure to, to really having a more sophisticated portfolio. But I am not, actually, I'm not surprised by how few people really truly understand how the carbon credit market works. So if you could just tell us basically what carbon streaming is trying to do, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Absolutely. So carbon streaming is taking a proven business model in, in royalty and, and, and stream financing and applying it to the carbon credit world. And so it's a, it's a new commodity. And as you said, Tracy, that a lot of investors aren't quite familiar with. So what is a carbon credit? A carbon credit represents one ton of CO2 that's either been reduced um, and absorbed from the atmosphere or prevented from being emitted to the atmosphere. And so when a project that exists around the world does one of those two things, either avoids or, or, or reduces or absorbs CO2, they get the opportunity to issue a carbon credit for that ton of CO2. And that carbon credit can then be sold to just about any buyer around the world, whether it's a corporation, a government, or an individual. And what carbon streaming is doing is raising capital to invest in those projects and accelerate the development of these projects around the world, thereby creating more carbon credits and giving um, investors an opportunity to, to invest alongside us and help support these projects. Okay, for all of our very astute investors out there that are following ESG portfolio principled companies. Here's one that you definitely have to have on your radar immediately. Justin, tell us why we better get this in our portfolio ASAP, please. That's great. Thanks, Tracy. Because carbon is a key part of the future. Carbon is, is with us to stay. Um, almost half of today's S&P 500s are now pricing carbon into their investment decisions. Uh, that's not changing anytime soon. And so carbon should be a key part of your investment portfolio. And, and we're one of the only public companies in the world that I'm aware of that's, that's focused solely on the carbon space. Well, I, not only that, I mean, I think there's a lot of people out there that are reading these new terms, environmental commodity. Um, it sounds to me like having carbon streaming in one's portfolio, you're really, this is your mandate for the company. Is that correct? Absolutely. It's, it's solely to focus on getting leverage to carbon prices and that expected increase in carbon prices over the next couple of decades. So you guys are a little bit of environmental visionaries. I'm seeing some sophisticated management team that you're bringing onto your team. And I know you're excited to share with us some of who these members are. I mean, you just had a news release, what, uh, two weeks ago, a month ago, actually, uh, four new management team members. You're really attracting some, you know, some big players here. Congratulations, Justin. If you want to talk about how you're going to bring them all together. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. And, and as we built this company over the last two years and, and had a crazy amount of momentum really in the last nine months, Tracy, we've we built up the team. We've added Mike on the investment side, who's my CEO. Uh, we've added Anne, who's come in as general counsel um, and who's got fantastic legal experience. Uh, Alec, who's, who's covering our energy portfolio for us, and, and Amy, who's working with us on the marketing and, and strategy side. So it's a team that will continue to grow as, as we raise capital and grow the business, but um, very excited to bring you know, those, those four individuals uh, on, on staff, and, and, uh, and we'll be a, all, all four will be a key part of the team um, you know, as we uh, drive the business forward. Uh, at Investor Intel, we're often looking at patterns of success for executives that are brought together. And again, I do recommend everyone, everyone at Investor Intel land read these bios because they are impressive. And if you're not impressed by that, I have to say your track record for raising money is definitely one um, is definitely one that most Canadians should be appreciating. You raised what forty six million here in the last several months. That's right. And, and also in the process of, of closing out a $105 million raise 
a U.S. race, hopefully here over the next couple of weeks. So uh, tremendous uh, momentum with with the investors and a ton of, of support from from new and existing shareholders, uh, including a Cisco Royalty Corp, which is one of our largest shareholders. So it's been um, it's been a fantastic last uh, nine months, as I said, Tracy. And of course, you just haven't been sitting there with the money. You have already been deploying it. I mean, I was reading an interesting number. Uh, one of our analysts was talking about the kind of money that he sees you bringing in. I'm not even going to quote him because it was so uh, impressive to me. But would you like to give us some of the highlights of what you've done with this investment capital already? Absolutely. So we have announced uh, a couple of investments, carbon stream investments, the first one into a a carbon project, blue carbon project in Mexico. Uh, very excited to partner with a proven uh, carbon development team there. Uh, we've also announced uh, an investment into two separate projects in the Congo uh, with a group called the Bonobo Conservation Initiative, which is managing over three and a half million hectares of, of forestry in, in the Congo. Very excited to, to, to be working with them. Um, as well as a partnership with a, with a group called the Wilson Zinter Enterprises uh, and targeting First Nations opportunities in BC. And we've got a tremendous First Nation opportunity here in Canada, which, um, which they'll help, help us execute on. Uh, and behind that, Tracy, a very large uh, portfolio of, of a pipeline of investment opportunities that, that seems to grow by the week. Well, I'll tell you, Justin, it's a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you so much for walking us through the business model that Carbon Streaming is utilizing. It's so nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Thanks again, Tracy.